been such a huge part of all of our lives, we just can't imagine what it would be like if you were not in it. And Carson has a message for you. I know I speak for all of us when I say how happy we are all are to be together for this uh, time together to celebrate your birthday. I just want to take a moment to thank you so much uh, for all the things that you've shown us in life. Uh, you taught us to have dignity and to be honest and to face adversity with courage. But most importantly, Mom, you've taught us to love each other unconditionally, which I know has been very difficult at times with Roger, Sue, and Sandy on board, but that's another story that we'll talk about later. All kidding aside, Mom, uh, the unconditional love that you've shown every member of this family over and over again, uh, your lead has been amazing. If we can follow that lead into the generations to come, I know that uh, you would be proud and that we will uh, have done a lot for this to dignify this family. We love you, Mom, and happy birthday. Hi, Elf. Just want to wish you a happy, happy birthday. You're a great mom, a great grandmother, and a great, great grandmother, and a wonderful mother-in-law. Happy, happy birthday. Bye. Bye-bye, Mom. Happy birthday. special memories that we have together and there's a lot to choose from. I was thinking about in Oklahoma when you would carry me around and you would teach me all the cows names and a little bit about each of their personalities and I would always have a cookie in hand thanks to you and all those memories are really special but what matters um, so much to me now is the relationship that we share now that I'm older. I really appreciate that I can come to you with a lot of things that I need to mull over and work over and you're such a wonderful listener and you give me such incredible advice and you just simplify things that make me understand them so well and when I follow your advice and I do, things always work out really well. And so I love that we have that relationship and I'm so appreciative of it. And there's somebody else here who would like to say hi to you. Oh, hi. Oh, here she is. I think you know how much <laughs> this one loves you. I think her um, favorite place in the whole world is in your arms, in your rocker, and you know she's usually just sticking her tongue out at you. But we love you so much. We love you, Granny. And we're so happy to be celebrating your birthday with everybody. Happy, we love you. Love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All you need is love. 
Hi Granny, it's Baby Bird and Dolly Bird here to wish you a happy birthday. We um, just wanted to tell you how much fun we've had with you in these last few months and how much it's meant to me. When I think about you, I think about how well you've always taken care of your kids and especially your grandkids. And one of my favorite memories is the garbage soup that you always used to feed us. I've loved that forever and I, I love it for always. Um, but all of the things that you've always done to take such great care of us. And I love you so much and I hope you have a great time this weekend. Love you! Mwah! Hi Granny and happy birthday. I just wanted to say how happy I am that I'm able to come to your big birthday celebration in Big Bear and bring the two kids. Rich is very sad that he couldn't join us here but he sends all his love. What I wanted to put on the video was um, some memories of just how over the years you've been such a great advice giver to me. <laughs> you've always been and continue to be willing to reply to my silly questions. Anything from gardening advice on how to grow my pumpkins, how to stop growing my pumpkins because I took over the yard, and you know all the way to should I marry this crazy blonde guy that keeps sticking around? And I could always count on your advice to be witty, humorous, heartfelt, and oh so accurate. One of my favorites you actually inscribed in a book that you gave me a long time ago. I think it was when I was in college. It was a Reader's Digest book on household tips, like cleaning, cooking, repairs, that kind of thing, because we all know how much help I can use in that department. But you wrote in the book that I could find fixes, I could find a way to fix anything in that book, except for a broken heart or a busted ass, so I should be careful of those. I have to admit, it's pretty good advice. I've been trying to stick to it. When Robin was born, you sent her her Pooh Bear, this one, and on the card that you sent, you said that he would give her courage. Now, I don't know for sure what was written on the card 38 years ago when you sent this Winnie the Pooh Bear, but I like to think it was something very similar because that's what you've given me is courage. The courage to try for my dreams, even if they didn't all come true because some pretty great ones did. Anyway, I love you. Happy 90th birthday. Pooh Bear loves you. And uh, I love you. Happy birthday, Granny. I've been told that this is your 90th birthday, and I just don't believe that's so. you got way too much spirit, and you're way too young at heart to be that. And besides, whenever I'm at your house, I get to be 16. So whatever birthday you choose, I wish you the best of one, and I love you. Happy birthday, Granny. It's just a goodbye. Teach your children well. Hi Granny, I'm so glad we're in Big Bear having a blast. Love you and hope you're having a great time. And feed them on your dreams. The one they pick, the one you'll know by. Don't you ever ask me. I have so many memories. When I think of you, Granny, countless years on the ranch, when I was little, trying to sneak out of the house to get to you, even though everyone knew I was coming, the soup bowls, your cooking, um, everything, Granny, that is just so wonderful memories. I think, though, that what's dearest in my heart is how you made me feel that I was the most precious thing on the earth in my whole life. You've made me feel that way. And talking to my cousins, we've all felt that way, which just proves that you are a one-of-the-kind outstanding grandmother. We're all so blessed to know you, to have you in our lives, and um, I'm just so honored to be called your granddaughter. And I'm so blessed that my kids get to know you and uh, that you can just pour into their lives and teach them things that only can come from you. you know, I love you so much, Granny. You are just a one of a kind. Happy birthday.
Welcome to Memories with Granny, where we do a recreation of a memory with Granny. Today's memory of Granny features an award-winning actress. Here she is with her cows on the ranch. I got cows. Okay. Here she is cooking one of her famous meals in the kitchen. I don't think she'd be all weird like that in the kitchen. I just, oh, wasn't that wonderful? Here she is relaxing on the couch. <laughs> and now our main memory. Now, most of you know Granny as someone who's sweet and kind and gentle, and she is, unless you bring a snake into her kitchen and ask her to cook it for you for dinner, which Matt and David and Mike once did. So, the rest of our award-winning ensemble today, Mickey Mouse, playing the part of David, and Mr. Tickle, playing the part of Matt. <laughs> Hi, Granny. David. Matt. And I caught this snake. And cleaned it. Can you cook it? No. Get out of here with that snake! Oh, hello again. That's exactly how it happened. Happy birthday, Granny. Happy birthday, Granny. Happy birthday, Granny. Happy birthday, Granny. Hey Granny, happy, happy, happy birthday. I am so glad that I am able to celebrate this wonderful occasion with you. I love you so much. So fly straight, wise apple. Love you. Hi Granny, happy birthday. Hope, hope you're having a good, a good trip up in Big Bear. Wish we could have made it. It's up for all of us to be there. I hope everyone's gonna have a great time. And, uh, we'll hope to see you at uh, Christmas. Wait. For all the steps you'll take and all you'll overcome, I wanna be the one to put it in a song. To every single tear for all the world to hear, I wanna be the one to put it in. Family is so great. It's the foundation that is built on. And you and Granddad did a great job with your family. You built a family that is accepting to new people, treat us like a family. You're loving, you're caring, you're willful, and you're strong. You're everything that a family should be. Thank you for everything that you've done for us, for being who